Let me move on to uh, video games. And let's do a quick Google search for, um, what do they call them, eSports. Esports, I don't know, champions, I'll call it. Uh, let's call it uh, 2019. Let's see who these guys are. So China's Fun Plus Phoenix defeat E2 Sports to League of Champions World Championship. Okay, so who are these guys? Here we go. Um, let's put this up on the screen so we can add to stream. So this is the people that compete on video games. I'm not opposed i'm not completely opposed to video games they can be fun there's certain times where um i'm not going to say it's a good use of your time but there's certain times where you can engage you can have community you can do some shit with your friends you can have some fun uh, you can at least challenge yourself to some degree um you know one might even argue it helps develop hand-eye coordination but it's very very limited um my point being with video games is these are the people that are considered world-class. So uh, League of Legends world champions. So this is, now this is a big, big thing that is gonna open up a lot of doors um, and a lot of traffic for new businesses going forward. I'm actually looking at an esports platform to invest in at an early stage right now um, because I know it's so popular and it's gonna continue to be popular. But these are the champions, okay? These are the League of Legends world champions. They are world champions at their video games, at that craft. I don't believe that they are legends of mankind, okay? If I can put it that way. I'm, you know, putting it, putting it kindly, if you will. Um, they're pretty much dorks. Where's, where's another one? Here we go. Let's see what these guys look like. Okay, so playing video games is not competing in real life is what my point is. These are the people that you're competing against. Can I make this any bigger for you? There you go. These are the dorks that you're competing against. I bet, I would I would bet you, these guys look like they're at least 20 years younger than me. I would bet you that I could probably do at least 30 more push-ups than all of these dorks, chin-ups, squats. I could probably hop on my bike and ride way faster, way further than any of these guys. They're not, they're not doing anything that's improving themselves as men. All they're doing is they're competing on an online game with wicked hand-eye coordination, and here's their trophy. Like, this is what they have to show for it. I don't believe that this is something that is a good use of your time. And if I'm being honest, there's far, far better things that you guys can be doing with your time when it comes to engaging on consoles, computers, and stuff like that. Use it in a very, very limited basis. Most of the stuff in video games, and especially if you go to places like Twitch now, there's a lot of these e-thoughts coming into these platforms that men are getting thirsty for, and they're white knighting for, and they're bending the knee for, and it beta ties men, right? It makes them weaker. They're, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end on this note on the video game thing to set the example and the tone in a clear, concise manner. Um, about five or six years ago, I was skiing, and in the terrain park, I wiped out, and I thought I broke my shin. Uh, I couldn't put any weight onto it. I went immediately to the emergency room of the hospital. I'm sitting there waiting for about five hours. 90% of the traffic in there was uh, single moms bringing in their kids that had a slight cough or a dot on their back. And then there was a couple of other kids that were in there as well. The one that went in before me sat, you know, they have these curtain rooms with a, with a drawstring curtain, so you can hear everything. Doctor's like, okay, so what's the problem? What can I do to help you? Why are you here today? He goes, well... You know, I was sitting around playing video games this weekend and I can't feel my legs. And she says to him, okay, well, what happened? You know, why can't you feel your, you know, feel your legs? Why did they go numb? Because he said they went numb and he couldn't feel them. Well, I was on this long raid with a bunch of my friends online on World of Warcraft for like two and a half days straight. And um, yeah, I, I just don't feel them. They're really numb. And she's like, well, get up and walk around, dummy. This is the kind of man that video games facilitate. It facilitates the weak beta that sits around on his ass all day and doesn't use the rest of his body and sits in a chair. And that's what you end up becoming. You know, you become a chair uh, globule is essentially what you end up doing. You need to compete in real life. You need to win in real life. So if you're going to play games, fine, do it, but do it on a limited basis. Get your ass off the computer screen, off the console and off these devices and go and compete in real life. Pick up a sport, 
join a dojo, learn how to get into some form of combat sports that you enjoy, maybe boxing, maybe BJJ, maybe Krav Maga. I don't care. Do something to compete in real life. Men need strong competency skills. Learning combat sports is a far better use, use of your time than sitting around playing Mortal Kombat, okay? Um, you're going to end up like the dork that was in a hospital because he couldn't feel his legs because he sat around for three days straight doing nothing. Be careful with these inputs. These are the things that will beta tie you. Um, if you want to read a really interesting book on uh, companies and people that are so brilliant that they know how to form um, habit, like these habit forming products, uh, it's called Hooked. The book is called Hooked. Uh, author's name is Near. I think it's NY. Let me just quickly look it up. This, this is a great book. I mean, if you play video games right now and you're wondering why, <laughs> by here it is. There it is. Um, Near, N I R E Y A L. Read this book over here How to Build Habit Forming Products. He breaks down specifically how things like Facebook, how things like video games uh, and console games and even computer type of games get you hooked to keep coming back and spending all your time and money staring at the screen or at their product or service. Um, it's a really, really interesting read. I would highly encourage you to take a look at it, especially if you feel like you have an addictive personality to these types of products and services because you need to get your head around why you're doing this and unhook yourself from it.